five, four. Hi, I'm Kevin Axel here at Pacific Fire Gathering 2013, having a great time at Scissor Theory Class. And I'm going to do a quick review of that class right now. There are four different scissor grips. That is with two clubs. Four different scissor grips. Regular scissor grip or scissor, reverse scissor grip, also called rizzer, staff grip or stizzer, and staff grip B. In other words, a very important idea here, there's staff grip A and staff grip B. Fundamentally different. It's also important to understand that there is circus grip and regular grip. Now that you've been through the workshop, I'm not going to go into too many details there, but you need to know the difference between circus grip and regular grip. For all of them, rizzer, stizzer, the regular one, they can all be done in regular or circus. So, there are four different scissor positions along with the four different scissor grips. Regular scissor position, the inverted scissor position, the inside scissor position, and the inside inverted scissor position. All of those four can be done in all four different scissor grips. Here's an example. Reverse grip can have the rizzer, reverse grip scissor, rin visor, reverse grip inverted scissor, in rizzer, inside reverse grip scissor, and in rin visor, inside reverse grip inverted scissor. Just as a one last one, I won't do the other two, but we have a stizzer, a staff grip scissor, an inverted stizzer, or a stin visor, an inside staff grip scissor, also called an in stizzer, and an inside inverted staff grip scissor, which, I think I get this right, is an in stin visor, inside staff grip inverted scissor. That's the idea with the names, by the way, is to save time in describing tricks. Because it takes a long time to describe this, and if I'm describing this transitioning into another trick, it's just too much words. So that's the idea behind the wordplay. So, four different scissor grips, four different scissor positions. It makes for a total of 16 different scissors, four grips, four positions, thus the scissor matrix. The scissor matrix can be done in regular grip or, scissor grip, or circus grip which results in 32 total possibilities. We at Club Motion highly recommend that you focus on regular grip everything. Circus grip sucks for scissors. I can prove it if you want to talk to me later. But don't use circus grip for scissors. Use it for multiplexing and other things. On with the tricks that we did that transition from one scissor position to another. We started with a sliver. A sliver is defined that it goes into, between, or out of a scissor grip. But the grip never changes. An example is, here I am in regular grip, I'm going to transfer between different scissor positions, but I'm always in regular grip. I, this grip never changes, the, nor, nor do the clubs in the grip. That's what makes it a sliver. The first sliver we did was a flip sliver. You can pull back, you don't have to, you can try to make it dramatic. The flip sliver can also be tossed, flip sliver was the first one. Then we did a, a drop sliver or a thumb drop sliver. Then we joyously learned that the flip sliver can be combined with the thumb drop sliver in what's known as a sloop or a sliver loop. Then we did the hammer sliver, slightly different in that we're lifting up. A key element here, anytime you're catching on the inside positions, is squeezing with the pinky and the ring finger, not the pointers. Regular scissors squeeze with the pointer and the middle. Inside scissors squeeze with the pinky and the ring finger. We did the sliding sliver, different ways to do it, like a contact butterfly, just pushing it out. We did some slivers that go out of scissors. I mentioned that a sliver is going into, in between, or out of a scissor position. That one rolls out. Slightly breaks the rule of slivers, but it's not all that strict. We also did from the regular scissor position a similar thing, except rolling forward also be done on the floor plane. So that was pretty much most of the slivers that we covered. Uh, we did do this one which flips its own direction on the outside. So those were slivers. Did I forget any slivers? Good. Um, then we did grapples. In a grapple, the scissored club switches places with one of the clubs in the scissor grip. The blue club will become part of the scissor grip and a new club will be in the scissor position. That's what defines a grapple. The club that was scissored becomes part of the scissor grip. There's lots of different types. One of the good ones to start with 
is the stitch. Re reverse grip scissor, rizzer, rizzer stitch. Bring the club up and in, allow this one down and out, you're switching. Even though you end up in the same grip, reverse grip, you're changing the club, thus making it a type of grapple known as a stitch. Next stitch, we did invisor or inverted scissor. Scissor, inverted scissor. We did what we call a lever stitch because we grab and pull it, bringing it into the handle and releasing. Then we did uh, a flip grapple or a drop grapple, call it what you want. Um, this one, you want to bring it up as such, sort of like a hammering motion. Open the fingers, this is what's key. You open the fingers to allow that one into the grip. Use gravity to the best of your, uh, best of your ability. Go back. That time I ended up in circus grip, you don't want to do that. There we go. We learned that if you put your thumb around the scissor club from this point, you can drop it into either a triangle or like a parallel deal. Again. Got them back around. So, we learned a grapsicle, which is not a great bubble popsicle. It's a grappling cycle, right? Once here, we did some scissor club palm spinning. What's that called? Sinning. Sinning. Scissor club palm spinning. FYI, club palm spinning is known as pinning. Thus, scissor pinning to save yourself some time. Call it sinning. All right, we ended up here in the stin visor. Then we're going to pin down, right? We're going to let the club spin in our hands as we go down to stizzle, allowing for our next grapple, the same type of grapple, up and down, dropping into rin visor, reverse grip, inverted scissor. Pin again. Now we could stitch like last time, but we also learned in this workshop that every scissor position, there's multiple grapples that you can do from that position. So in this case, instead of the stitch, we're going to bring it up, make sure you get it up with the knuckles pointed up, flat on the floor plane, because you want to drop the middle one. Allow this to go through. You have to let your fingers up and allow it to drop, putting you in, in rin visor, inside reverse grip inverted scissor. There we are. Then we learned a different type of grapple by actually utilizing a trap or a poly trap, trapping multiple clubs. I grabbed the bottom one and I'm now pressing up against it, which allows this club to go up, this club to drop down into the in stizzer grip. So lastly, we brought it up and into the grip. One of the easiest. You open your hands and receive and catch. Open your hands and receive and catch. So I'll do the full grapsicle. Here we go. Grip juggling. So, again, super important, fundamental if you're watching this and trying to learn this stuff. You've got to understand the difference between regular grip and circus grip. Ask a juggler. Regular grip and circus grip. Try to only use regular grip for all of these. Four different scissor grips, four different scissor positions, thus making a matrix of 16 possible three-in-one hand club scissors. They can all be done in regular, they can be done in circus. I hope you've enjoyed this. One last thing, I have a DVD on the internet I made with some friends called Club Motion. Club Motion DVD, it's $10. It breaks all this stuff down. I would encourage you to get it. Thanks, guys. You've been awesome. Thank you.